support for opposition. Matthew Barker. Good afternoon. My name is Matt Barker, and this is my father, Paul Barker, uh, from Houston. Uh, thank you very much, Senator Whitmire, and the committee for letting us share a story about our mother and my father's wife, Diana Barker, who sadly could not be here. She is uh, recovering from extensive gunshot wounds, um, and my father will tell you the story briefly here in just a minute. On behalf of my mother, um, who would love to be here, and our entire family, we are against this bill, 354. Mr. Chairman, about 10 weeks ago, my wife and I were having dinner in a restaurant in Kingwood when suddenly she was shot. A gun fell out of a neighboring diner out of his pocket, fell on the floor, and shot my wife. She slumped in the chair. We immediately called the police. Um, she was taken rushed is the word because I was in the ambulance to Bentarp Hospital where she under, undertook emergency surgery followed by more surgery 36 hours later. What it was found was that the bullet entered her left buttock. It damaged badly her intestines and is still today residing in her chest. So she still has a bullet in her to witness that dramatic time. She was um, in Ben Tarb for two weeks, undergoing extensive um, care, and then following, following that she went to um, Tia Memorial Term and Tia, where she gradually recovered from her wounds. However, it was discovered that her left foot was paralyzed because the bullet had hit her sciatic nerve. So she then went back to hospital about two weeks ago to have the sciatic nerve treated. Unfortunately, they were not able to um, cure the problem, but it was done with microsurgery, and our hope long term is that the use of her foot will come back. But at the moment, she's a 71-year-old active lady who is hobbling around um, in a walker trying to get her life back together. This has been all due. This incident would not have happened had the gun holder, who is a college-educated, ex-Air Force, retired 66-year-old businessman, had been a responsible CHL gun owner. After 10 weeks, we're still waiting for the Houston police to issue a report of their findings to the district attorney. We believe that there is a false sense of security existing with the current CHL process. Nobody should have to worry about a gun going off accidentally in public places, and we believe that any college or university campus will not be made safer by students carrying guns. In fact, our belief is they will become less safe because of the risk of accidents. We simply do not want any person or family to have to go through what my wife and family have gone through during the last 10 weeks by an accidental discharge of such a weapon. Our family is against SB 354. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate you uh, appearing. And sorry about the incident. Good. What did he just do? He just dropped out of his pocket? It fell out of his pocket. Um, he, he said, or somebody said later, that he didn't know it was there. And um, it fell out, and, and it was a Derringer, mm -hmm. which apparently is a dangerous gun. It's the type of gun that was used to shoot President Lincoln, I understand. Hmm. So okay. it, there are dangerous handguns around, sure. which are not safe and secure. Thank you.